So let me introduce you to Marcy. She's our fabulous long wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter camper van. Um, so just a quick look around the back to start with. Just to have a good idea of what sort of shape she's in from the outside. So she's generally in very good shape for her age. It's an 07 number plate. Um, the chassis is really good and strong. There was a few rust spots on the outside, but we've dealt with quite a lot of those and touched them up and then repainted and sprayed. Um, on top of the van, which you can't see, there's a rack of solar plates. Um, generally, um, she's been in great condition and drives well. Hi, uh, I'm Alex and this is Dima and uh, we are going to show you around our van. So this van has been amazing. Uh, we've used it to cycle from England uh, to uh, uh, Istanbul and it's been our support vehicle and we're going to show you around this little beauty. So let me show you around. There she is. This little beauty. So we have up above the garage, we've got a really, really comfy double bed. We've got um, a kitchen area. So here we've got the sink and we've got a single tap with it. And then we've got a single hub, which is, works really well. Here we've got sockets. Uh, we've got switches, one for the lights that underneath here. And then we've got lights for the top at the back. And then we've got a two way switch uh, for the garage. They work really well. And then underneath here, we've got electric fridge that has got a gas option, but we haven't got it connected to that at the moment. Um, but the fridge works, but it does drain the battery quite a lot. Um, and then also we've got this great, which has got these little lamp things on to stop it opening while we're driving. Um, also, we've got this, really love this bit of the old oak worktop and it's held together very simple like that. And it gives you extra uh, well, chopping area sort of prepping area. So. Uh, so here we've got a fan that's controlled on the remote control and it's got various settings, really, really good. Uh, it's really powerful and uh, you can, you've got a temperature control on it. So that's good when it gets really warm. Uh, in here, we've got the shower room, which works really well. It's cozy. Um, so it is wallpaper, but we've treated it with um, sort of varnish and it seems to have held really well. And it's good. So we've got a toilet, Thetford toilet, and um, this works off the cartridge. The cartridge you get to from the other side, you can flush it and stuff. And then we've got a shower um, that you can use as a shower or you can use it as a tap uh, for the sink and it all drains underneath. So this area, uh, we've got storage and we've got these little clips that it holds open with. This one's got a little clip with the fans in the way. Um, and then we've got storage here. Again, they're held open up there. And they've got storage above the cab, which is quite a decent sized space. Okay. So this is our really lovely two-person sofa, which also becomes a sofa bed. So it's a nice, decent sized double set bed. It's all memory foam and wipeable. Um, and then these curtains, we've got them all around the van. They're just on Velcro, so you can just quickly put them down, stick them to the bottom, put them back up again at the end of the night. Um, it's a really nice social space in here. So we've got the front two chairs that swivel around. That happens really easily under the chair. So at the front, that's where the battery is. Um, so we'll show you how to do that shortly. And then under the bench here, there's space more storage so we've got crates under here but you can put your bags um, bedding anything like that we've also got this ladder which we use to get up at night into bed and then we store it up there during the day and then in here you'll see the door to the garage so it's great to have that access as well So while Alex was on his bike ride, this was a support vehicle and it slept six people in the van. It's a bit cosy, but they all it was all comfy, which is great. I'm just going to show you where they slept. So two people slept up there in the loft. Two people slept along here. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. And then two and then one person slept along the front here. So we swiveled the chairs back round, the bed, put a curtain up here separate 
um, a curtain all the way around the front of the van and there was another curtain there's some hooks here which we can hook up another curtain to provide privacy from this space and the bathroom and the people sleeping up there and then we had one person sleeping in the garage in between all the other bits <laughs> So the good thing about Mercedes, uh, there's loads of com compartments in the Mercedes um, and they're good to use. We, we've installed a Pioneer radio, uh, which is really good. You can connect your phone to it with Bluetooth. Uh, it's got navigation, it's got an app that you can use on it. And also it's got the rear camera for reversing, which is really handy as well. Um, so under the seat, we've got some of our electronics going on here. So in here we've got so we've got the mechanism for the chair, which is quite simple. They sort of just pull up a twist. You do all of those four, and then you can swivel the chair around, and then you put it back, line it up in position, um, line these up, and just put them down and twist them and turn them, and that locks it into place. In here we've got the leisure battery. We've also got a diesel heater. Uh, currently it's not working. Um, we have run out of time to take it to someone to get it working. Um, so yep and then in the next section we've got some of the electronics so we've got the inverter that makes all the mains and the sockets work um, and we've got the charging so this is we've got one solar panel on the roof and this tells me um it's quite good it tells me all the detail i need to know about what's happening with that um so at the moment we've got it's quite a bit of voltage coming in and then we've got um fuses that do various things we've got a fan the inverter the tap at the back and the boiler that we'll show you in a bit also, we've got a um, 12 volt panel here, so you've got um, a bit of USB so you can charge things. There's a 12 volt outlet as well, uh, if you want to pump up beds or anything like that. Um, we've got cabin lights, we've got taps um, and various other things going on there. Also, throughout the van, we've got a socket, so we've got a socket behind there, socket down there. We've got one up in the bed, one by the sink, and they've all got USB. Uh, so really, lots of options uh, for charging stuff, and, and it was really handy for us while we were riding. Uh, so let me show you this garage. It's quite a really useful space with lots going on. Uh, so I'll take you in first. Um, so here we've got the gas for the hob. Um, this waste stuff here we use, um, if we're using shower underneath there, that goes under the van and it collects all the wastewater. Uh, gas for hob. We've got the, um, the incoming water for the tap and then the wastewater for the sink. Um, We've got the mains lead that goes for the um, uh, if you want to plug it in, which is really good. And then here we've got a switch for the fridge, uh, just nice later for the fridge. Here, um, there's a good little bit of switch, so we've got uh, we can either switch it from the battery supply, so that will feed all the van uh, mains voltage uh, if it's on the battery, or we switch it over if it's plugged into the, the mains in a campsite or something like that, and then it will all work on that. Um, we've got a carbon monoxide detector there, we've got one here, and we've got one in the kitchen. Um, and then we've got the fuse board uh, that just does all the main stuff there. Um, this side, we've got uh, the boiler that does the shower, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, and this is the water uh, for the shower and then the gas for the shower. Obviously this, we have to make sure all that everything's open because um, obviously it checks out a bit of carbon monoxide while you're using it. Uh, so uh, it's good to have a detector there. And the pipe goes out, um, so it takes out some of the fumes out of the van, but again, the doors and everything need to be open. Um, here we've got straps, so we use it. We had um, all our stuff in trays and stuff, and so we just strapped it all together there. And then this side, uh, we used to put the chairs, so the double chairs that we'll show you in a bit, um, that we use uh, for passengers. We quite often had them stored here, and then all the bikes you can get a few bikes in here. Also, with somebody sleeping in this area, so it was again really flexible. We've got lots of stuff here. We've got a bit more shelving, which is really handy. We put the cooker up there. And then sometimes some other bits and tarpauling and things really good. Let me show you the shower. I love this bit. Okay, so this is uh, great. It's probably one of my favourite bits of the van. Uh, so we've got an outside 
shower, uh, which is really simple to use. So it's just turned up there. Um, and obviously we use it a lot because it's hot water uh, for washing up. I just switch it on and we get water and then it warms up uh, every few seconds. That's hot now. Um, it's really, really good. Okay, so this is quite a good genius little thing. Uh, we can use this for washing line and shower curtains um, and we'll set that up and show you how that works. Uh, really simple but really good and you can use it for washing lines that are inside, outside and shower curtains. <laughs>